सहनावतु सहनौ भुनक्त सह वीरकवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मेद्विषावह ओ शातिशाति ओ पूर्णमद पूर्णमिद पूर्णा पूर्णमुद्य पूर्ण से पूर्णमाद्य पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शातिशाति ओ आप्या ममांगा वाक्चक्षुश्रोत्रमथ बलमेन्द्रिया चर्वाणे सर्व ब्रह्म उपनिषद माहम ब्रह्म निराकुरिया ब्रह्म निराकोद अनिराकरणमस्वराकरण मे अस्त तदात्मते यौपनिषत्सु धर्मस्ते मयि सन्त ते मयि सन्त ओ शातिशाति श्रुतिस्मृतिपुरा आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवतन पुन ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्यादेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम ओमीतमुपीत ओमीतुदाते तस्ोपव्याख्यान Again, page स्वप्ने महीयमानश्चरते एष आत्मे होवाच एकदमृत अभयद्रह्मे स शांतृद प्रभुराज सह अप्रा देवादर्श तद्यपि इदम शरीरमंधम भवते अनंद भवते यदि श्राम अश्राम नशोषेण दृश्य नवधेनाते नाश्राम्येण श्राम घनतीन विच्छादयती अप्रियवेता इव भवदे अपिरोदिति इव नाहमत्र भोग्यम पश्या स्वप्नात्मा अस्य देहस्य दोषेण दुष्यते एषा स्वप्नात्मा दिस ड्रीम सेल्फ अस्य देहस्य दोषेण न दुष्यते इट इज नॉट रिफ्लेक्टेड बाय द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ दिस बॉडी न वधे नाप्यस्य वधे न सहन्यते छायात्मवत 
It is true that the Chaya Atma, the reflected self, would have suffered it whether or death at the death of the body because there is no reflection, the body is not there. <coughs> but like that, but by the death of this body, the Swapna Atma, the sea dream self, does not die. <coughs> Nachasya sramena sramaha svapnatma bhavadi. Again, dream self also does not suffer from a running nose or running eyes because even when it happens to this body. Yet adhyaya adau aga matra upanyastam nasya jaraya eta jiri tityadi tadiha nyayana upapadeta upanyastam. So this point was made earlier. Nasya jaraya eta jiriyati. By the deformation of his body, the harda kasa hai, or the dhara kasa hai, or Brahman. So by the word, by the dhara kasa, Brahma Sutra said, what is meant is Brahman, the Param Brahma. Supposed to be dwelling in the heart here. This body is called Brahma Puram. Because the Puram, this is a dwelling where Brahma is realized. Asmin Brahma, in this Brahma Puram, there is a, a dwelling place of the shape of the lotus, which is heart. In that heart, there is this tiny space called Dharakasa. So, question is if Dharakasa is within the heart, then if this body suffers from old age, then what happens to the Dharakas? If this body dies, what happens to the Dharakas? Nasya jaraya eta jiriyate. By the deformation of his body, the Dharakas does not get deformed. By the death of his body, the Dharakas of Brahman or Atma does not get deformed, it doesn't die. So this this was already stated about the self that the self or Brahman is is devoid of old age and death was stated. Yeah, is presented again in order to explain it with reasoning. Explain the same story statement with reasoning. <coughs> so Nyayana Nyaya is Anve Vitarekakya. Nyaya is the rule is Anvaya Vitareka. Eta deha yamane hi sati eva de dharma sanyuvate eva drashta. The Atma appears to be affected by the, by the limitations or the afflictions of the body. The Atma appears to be affected by the afflictions of the body. Anvaya when the Tada Atma is there, when there is the identification of the body, then the Atma appears to be affected by the affliction of the body. It is one thinks that the old age of the body is the old age of the Atma, the rest of the body is taken to be the death of Atma. When there is identification of the body on account of ignorance. But Swapnetu etad deha vimana bhavat. But in the dream, there's no scope for identification. It is gross body. The dream, of course, there is an identification of the dream body. And the old age of dream body will affect that dreamer. At least notionally it will affect. But anyway, the old age of this is quite possible that this body is old. And still, the dreamer may see himself as a young man. Quite possible. So, this body may be suffering from cold, running nose, etc. But the dreamer may see him as a healthy person. And so, when in dream, there is no tadatme or identification with this gross body. Therefore, the dream self is not affected by the afflictions of this gross body. This is the Anvaya. So when the Tadayatma is there as in waking state, when as though gets affected, there is no Tadayatma dream state, 
than when it's not affected. <coughs> so that is the Anvaya Vithireka. <coughs> Or the other Tikakara said, Anve Vitreka Sopne stul deha de abhave be Atna Satwa di dukta eva di bhava. The Anve Vitreka is the presence of Atma. So in the waking, the Atma is there, when the gross body is there. In the dream, the Atma is there, even when gross body is not there. Stul de abhave be Atna Satwa. So, Anvaya, the coexistence in the waking state, the gross body and the Atma, both of them are exist together. Dream state, Atma is there, but the gross body is not there. Therefore, the affliction of the gross body do not affect the Atma. So, little differently, it amounts to saying the same thing, but still, Differently and where Vedika stated by the two Tika Karas. Nitaadem Chayat Mavat Deh Doshe Ukta Kintu and ever this dream self is not in any way affected by the defects or the limitations or afflictions of this gross body. That is Sukintu. However, independently this dream self seems to be suffering. So, can do ganti evaitam enam. How it looks like they, they kill this self in the dream. Eva Shabda, Eva Sevashikara said, So, ganti eva, they definitely kill him. Vashikara says, No, they don't kill him. They as though kill him. Eva. Sugnanti Vayanam Ketani Dastavyam. That's how you should understand. Natu Gnanti Evaiti Dastavyam. So it's not that he is indeed killed, he is as though killed. <coughs> Uttareshu Sarveshu Eva Shabda Darshana. Because subsequently, Vichayadendi Eva Priveta Eva Bhoti Rodidi Eva. In each of the following cases, it is as though, and therefore, in case of Gnanti also, you should understand that what is meant is Eva, as though, not Eva, definitely. <coughs> not that is really killed. Not that he really weeps, as though weeps. Not that he is really chased, as though he is chased. Similarly, not that he is really killed, he is as though killed, the dreamer. <coughs> So, a technical question was asked here. Nasya bhadena hanya deidi visheshanad granditva vedi ched. But then, Indra said that nasya, na bhadena sya hanya de. The dream self is not killed by the killing or the death of this body. So, dream self is not killed by the death of this body. That means he can be killed by something else. See, dream self is not killed, does not die at the death of this body. So it's a qualification. He is not killed by the death of this body. Listen, he is not killed. You follow? He is not killed because of the death of the body. That's what Indra said. Navadena sihanyate. Indra did not say that he does not get killed. So Indra implies, seems to imply that even though the dream self is not killed by the death of his body, he is indeed killed by some other cause. So why not? Gandhi evatu enamidi. Why not evakara is indeed killed? <coughs> so from what Indra said, this interpretation can be there. Na evam Prajapatim Pramani Kurvataha Anuvaditva Apadanat Anupate Apadana Anupate Prajapatim Pramani Kurvataha Prajapati said Ida Murtam 
Avayam etat Brahma. Self is immortal, fearless Brahma. And then if Indra says that, the dream self gets killed, if he implies. By saying that the dream self is not killed by the killing of this gross body, the implication is that the dream self is killed in some other way, so he is indeed killed. He is not immortal. If he is not immortal, then Prajapati's words that Atma is Amritam, so Abhayam, immortal, that would be falsified. Many Indra continues to assume that the dream self gets killed. Even though Prajapati has said, Ish Atmeti Hovacha, Ida Amritam, Abhayam, Ida Brahmeti. So, qualifying or describing dream self, Yesha Swapne Mahimanas Charati, the dream self, Ish Atmeti Hova, that is the self. So, Indra has already heard, listened to Prajapati that the dream self is immortal. And therefore, them, for Indra to imply, in spite of hearing that, in spite of Prajapati clearly saying that the dream self also is immortal, for Indra to imply that the dream self does get killed, even though he does not get killed by the death of his body, he does get killed. That means he is contradicting what Prajapati has told him. Meaning that he does not consider the words of Prajapati as the, the, as the Pramanam, as the authority. You said Atma is immortal, but I find him being killed. That means that Indra is questioning what Prajapati said. In that case, it amounts to saying that he does not look upon Prajapati as Pramanam, as a valid means of knowledge. His words are not looked upon as valid means of knowledge. But that cannot be. If Indra thought that what Prajapati says is not reliable, then he would not have come back. So after listening to the dream self, Indra was satisfied momentarily. And he returned to his place, was returning. On the way, he found all these difficulties. On the way, Indra started reflecting upon what Prajapati had said. Idamutam, Abhayam, Edad Brahma. And so, Sarvan Lokan, Sarvan Kaman, Shapnodi. So, one attains all the words, all the desired. Etam Anuvidya Vijanati. So one knowing and realizes Atma attains all the worlds and attains all the Kamas. So what, what Prajapati had said, Indra started that his understanding of the self, the dream self is Atma. Again, Indra took literally what Prajapati said. Prajapati described the dream self. Yaisha Sapne Mahimanas Charati. And Indra took it literally that the dream self is Atma. And then applied those qualifications that Prajapati said and said, no, this cannot be. The self as I understand, cannot, meaning my understanding of the self is not, doesn't seem to be right. To take dream self with Atma is not what Prajapati must have meant. His dream self cannot be immortal. So he came back. He questioned his understanding and not the words of Prajapati. Because he looks upon words of Prajapati as true, as authentic, as coming from the valid knowledge. <coughs> so Prajapati Pramani Kurvataha Anutavaditva apadan anupatte. Indra cannot have said that the dream, I, well, I find dream self dies. You say that it is immortal, you know. So it wouldn't be a pramani kurvan. That means that you would be questioning or denying the authenticity of Prajapati, which it cannot be because if he thought so, he would not have returned seeking further instruction. <coughs> Now we in a go to the next page, 398. 
So before that, look at the last line on 397, line 35. Chaya Purushe Amrita Abhayatwadi Uktavapi Asseva Sharirasya Nasa Manvesha Nashyati Iti Nasa Okte Prajapate Apramani Karanam Ishtami Shankate Going back to the earlier case Chaya Purushe Amrita Abhayatwadi Uktavapi See, remember this. In the first instant, Prajapati said, Esha Akshini Purusha Drushyate Esha Atmiti Hovasa Ida Amritam Avayam Etat Brahma. So the self that is seen in the eyes is Atma. So from that, you take those words literally. Then it is reflect, the self reflect in the eyes of Atma. So reflection is Atma. Chaya, a reflection in Chaya, so Chaya Atma is the Atma. So even though Prajapati said that Atma is immortal, fearless, and still Indra took the reflection as Atma, you see? So Asseva Sharias, and then he said, Asseva Sharias Sinasam Esha Nashyadidi. That when this body is killed, then this Atma also gets killed. Meaning that Indra had no difficulty in accepting Chaya Atma as mortal. Even though Prajapati said that Atma is immortal, Indra's understanding of Atma as Chaya Atma, hey, this Atma is mortal. So, Siva Sharya Sanasam Anuvesha Adnashyadeti Nashokte hai. So, even though Prajapati said that Atma is immortal, Indra said, Atma is mortal. Which Atma? Chaya Atma. So Indra thought that Prajapati is saying that Chaya Atma is Atma and is immortal. And Indra comes back and says, hey, Chaya Atma is mortal. So what you said is not right. You follow? So that time also did not Indra question what Prajapati said or thought that Prajapati said what was what Prajapati was false? And so, Apramani Karanam. At that time, Indra, Apramani Krita. Means what? So, Indra actually uh, implied that Prajapati is not saying what is right. So, if that time Indra could imply that, why not this time also? So, the, still the discussion is Granti Eva. Because the Shruti says Granti Eva is indeed killed. So Indra says, Swapna Atma is indeed killed. Why should not we take it literally? If it amounts to a Pramani Karanam, a Prajapati, means that Indra is questioning the knowledge of Prajapati. He did question earlier also. He did in a way, in a way question and accuse or you know, imply. So why not this time also he does it? Idi Shankade Nanu. Or in the line 15, Anandagiri says, Drishtante na Shankade. So the Puru Pakshi still questions by Drishtanta. Same thing. Nano iti. So all of these discussion is understand this is all dwelling upon, deliberating upon the nature of self, you know. In this question answers, you can see how all along it is a self that is subject matter of discussion here. Number one, how Prajapati instructed. Number two, how Indra understood the instruction. And number three, what the what was the defect in understanding of Indra? And there were what's the true nature of self? All of this is brought out here. So how the communication took place, how it should take place, how misunderstanding can be created, and in describing those misunderstandings, the true understanding also is described, understand? 
meaning that the true nature of self also is being described here. So all of this discussion, discussion amounts to deliberating upon or reflection or deliberation upon the nature of self. Or is what you call vichara. Vichara means the deliberation upon the Shruti statement. Because the words have to be understood in the same meaning in which they were used by the ish, by the Shruti. So Tatpara is important. And there were words of Shruti are subject to deliberation. What does Shruti mean? Does Shruti mean Evakara, Evakara? It's very important. Because whether Atma is mortal or not mortal, that the dream self gets killed, is it a notion or is it a reality? It's important to understand. So that is why this in a way amounts to deliberating upon the nature of self or Mimamsa. The scrutinizing the meaning of the Shruti statements to arrive at the Tatparya. What exactly is Tatparya or the purport of Shruti is? Because it is Tatparya that determines the meaning of the words. So Vedanta Siddhanta is what determines the meaning of the words used by a speaker? And therefore, what is the meaning of this, this sentence which comprises of various words? That meaning is to be understood as what is intended by the speaker. And that may or may not be grammatic, it may be different from grammatical meaning. So we do not go by grammatical meaning or, or the conventional meaning. We have to understand what is the intended meaning. So to truly understand what somebody tells us, it is necessary for us to determine what is the intended meaning of oh, this is what you said. I did not mean that. So this thing goes on always, you know. You say this, I did not mean it. Meaning that I expect you to understand what I mean and not just take my words, you know. So that is why it becomes important to understand the tatpari, the purport. What is the tatpari of the Shruti? So the Nayayakas will take the literal meaning and the grammatical meaning and this meaning and then arrive at the, you know, arrive at the understanding. The Vedan will go for Tatpariya. Even though literal meaning is this, grammatical meaning is this, traditional conventional meaning is this, but still it doesn't quite fit into, is not consistent with overall teaching. And therefore, every sentence, wherever necessary, is subjected to this kind of delivery. So, vichara kartavya. Brahma vichara kartavya. That, the one was deliberated upon the nature of Brahman. And for deliberating the nature of Brahman, we should deliver the Upanishad Vakyas, which, which in fact reveal Brahman. So Anandagri says, Dhrishtantena Shankate. Dhrishtant again is Sayatma, is Dhrishtant. So Vashtakara says in the first line, page 398. Nano Chaya Purushe Prajapatina Ukte Asya Shari Asya Nasam Anveshana Shyade Iti Dosham Abhyadhat Tatha Ihapishyat Nanu Chaya Purashe Prajapitana Ukte So Prajapati said Chaya Purashe is Atma though taking the words of Prajapati Esha Akshane Purusha The one that is seen in the eye is Atma So the literal meaning word Prajapati's words were was that Chaya Atma or reflection is Atma. So Chaya Purushe Prajapitana Ukte and still Indra said Asya Sharira Sena Samanu Eshanashyati that the Atma that Prajapati said will be will also suffer destruction at the death of this body. 
ఇది దోషం అభ్యదాత్ హీ టోల్డ్ హీ టోల్డ్ ద థాట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ దోష ద రీఫెక్ట్ తథ ఇహా విశ్యాత్ సో ఇంద్రా డిడ్ నాట్ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ డిఫికల్టీ ఓర్ హ్యాడ్ నో కాన్ఫ్లిక్ట్ ఇన్ ఇస్ మైండ్ ఇన్ ఫాల్సిఫైయింగ్ ది వర్డ్స్ ఆఫ్ ప్రజాపతి ఎస్ హీ అండర్స్టూడ్ he understood that prajapati says that the reflection is atma but the reflection is subject to death so in fact he this is then how can it be atma that is what indra meant but anyway indra says this atma is subject to death how can indra say that when prajapati says that atma is immortal how can indra even think that this atma will die at the death of this body so when indra can think like that even though prajapati clearly said that the atma is immortal still indra concluded the atma is subject to death so similarly then that doesn't mean that he is questioning prajapati but he can think that way so similarly even though prajapati says the dream shall be immortal indra can think that the dream shall also is mortal why not so that evakara can be there not evakara is <coughs> it so and the dushtantam vighatayati so tears apart you know vighatayati the dushtanta that chhayatma cannot be dushtanta for swapnatma that's our idea so to interpret what indra said about sapnatma the chhayatma is used as dushtanta to interpret what indra says about sapnatma if there is a right dushtanta then the puru pakshi is right that just as in case of chhayatma indra could thought that the chhayatma is subject to death similarly he can think also that so you continue saying in that prajapati said chhayatma is atma so similarly just as chhayatma is subject to death this atma also is subject to death so that chhayatma does not is not the appropriate restraint for swapna atma even for indra even now the understanding that indra has based on the present understanding of indra chhayatma is not the appropriate dushtanta for indra's interpretation of swapnatma see indra had interpretation of chhayatma with the understanding that he had where he took the words literally and concluded that chhayatma is atma and then he said that chhayatma he sees it is dying or is disappearing but now indra's understanding has changed he no more think that chhayatma is chhayatma is atma that will not come back so he found all kinds of difficulties in his interpretation of chhayatma reflection as atma and so he's come back to prajapati seeking now new instruction so now no indra no more think that chhayatma reflection is atma and then he still says that the, the, the dream self dies so then for him chhayatma cannot understand because indra no more thing that chhayatma is the atma there was chhayatma cannot be understand to explain the present understanding of indra that's how vigadayati that this is not the appropriate understand <coughs> look at the other tika kara line 21 he explains it यद्यपि प्रथम विरोचन स इंद्रेण छात्मा प्रजापति गृहीत यद्यपि प्रथम इन द फर्स्ट इंस्टेंस विरोचन स अलॉंग विद विरोचन इंद्र ऑल्सो कंक्लूडेड दैट प्रजापति सेड दैट रिफ्लेक्शन इज आत्म वो तो दम कंक्लूडेड तथा भी मार्ग मध्य अमृत अभयत्वादि पूर्वोत्तर प्रजापति वाक्य संदर्भ पर्या पर्यालोचयन तथा भी मार्ग मध्य फर्स्ट टाइम नॉट सेकेंड टाइम फर्स्ट टाइम अमृत अभयत्वादी पूर्वोत्तर 
ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಸಂದರ್ಭ ಪರ್ಯಾಲೋಚನ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ಸೇಡ್ ಪೂರ್ವ ಅಪಹತ ಪಾಪ್ಮ ವಿಜರ ವಿವೃತ್ತಿ ಉತ್ತರ ಲೇಟರ್ ಸೇಡ್ ಅಭಯ ಅಮೃತ ಅಭಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇದು ಸಂದರ್ಭ ಪರ್ಯಾಲೋಚನ ಸೊ ಡೆಲಿವರಿಡ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ಸೇಡ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಛಾಯಾತ್ಮ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿನ ಉಕ್ತ ಇಂದ್ರ ಕಿಮ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ಕುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹವ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ಸೈಡ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಲ್ಲೆಸ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಡಿಕ್ರಾಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಡೆತ್ ಇಮ್ಮಾರ್ಡಲ್ ಫಿಯರ್ಲೆಸ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ಕುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹವ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಇಂದ್ರ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಹಿ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ that the witness is atma that he did not understand but he understood that his understanding is not right so indra understood that what i have understood the reflection is atma cannot be right because it is not consistent with what prajapati said about the lakshanas or attributes of atma so that's why he came back so this much he understood na chaya atma prajapati jana ukta that prajapati certainly cannot have said that the reflection is atma what he said is not clear to him but he could he was very clear about what prajapati could not have said the reflection cannot be atma because atma and the reflection does not satisfy this criteria of being immortal etc kintu anyeva atma ukta lakshana upadishta iti but prajapati is instructed of atma different from the reflection ukta lakshana this immortal so prajapati is stay said about atma that is amrutam abhayam brahma and not chaya atma so atma that prajapati instructed is different from atma that i have understood this much so now in mind the vindra chaya atma is no more the atma chatma has been dismissed when he comes back and asks for instruction idhi nischitya tasvaro vishesh bhutsya purvam svena grohitam grohita chhayatmani dosham avishkrutavan idhi nischitya that prajapati is said about atma different from chhayatma idhi nischitya this much assert, assert, you know assertion was there that sru vishesha then what is that so now we generally know chhayatma is not the atma so one dismissal has happened so now chhayatma is not the atma and so body also is not the atma this was in the understood the sru vishesha but what is atma if chhay is not the atma body is not the atma then tad vishesha bhutsa buddhum icha the desire to know what is the nature of atma ಪೂರ್ವಂ ಸ್ವೇನ ಗೃಹೀತ ಆತ್ಮೆ ದೋಷ ಆವಿಷ್ಕೃತವಾನ್ ಹೆವಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ದಟ್ ಛಾಯ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ಆತ್ಮ ಹಿ ಶೋಸ್ ಅ ದೋಷ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಛಾಯ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಇ ಸೇಸ್ ದ ಛಾಯ ಆತ್ಮ ಡೈಸ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಛಾಯ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಡೈಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ಸೇಡ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಡ್ ಮೈ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಸೊ ದೈ ದ ಪೂರ್ವ ಸ್ವೇನ ಗುರುದ ಛಾಯ ಆತ್ಮ ದೋಷ ಆವಿಷ್ಕೃತವಾನ್ ಅತ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತೆ ಅಪ್ರಮಾಣೀಕರಣ ಇಂದ್ರ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಇಂದ್ರ ಸೇಡ್ ಮೈ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ವಾಸ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ವೆನ್ ಐ ಥಾಟ್ ಛಾಯ ವಾಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಐ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಛಾಯ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ ಸೊ ಮೈ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟ್ರೂ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆತ್ಮ so at that time also indra did not question what prajapati said indra had only revealed that my understand is i understood that my understanding was wrong <coughs> so that time also is not he was not questioning prajapati he only reported the false falsity in his own understanding atah na prajapate apramanikaranam indra sishtam devindra as not desire it's not desirable indra to 
क्वेश्चन और डिसमिस प्रजापति इज नॉट प्रमाण तथा पुनः प्रजापति समीप समीप गमन अनुपत्ते बिकॉज ई थॉट दैट प्रजापति टू मिस गाइडेड मी इफ इन दैट थॉट प्रजापति इज मिस गाइडेड मी प्रजापति सेट द रिफ्लेक्शन इज आत्मा हाउ कैन रिफ्लेक्शन बी आत्मा रिफ्लेक्शन इज मॉडल आत्मा इज मॉडल नो दी डज नो वॉट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट देन यू वोड गॉन अवे वी थॉट दैट प्रजापति इज मिस गाइडेड इन सेट समिंग रॉन्ग ही वुड लेफ बट ई केम बैक मीनिंग वॉट माई अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज रॉन्ग not what prajapati said so in what way is my understanding wrong the i atma that i understood chaya atma reflection is mortal where you said atma is immortal so he was only revealing the uh, mistake error that he had committed and not that what prajapati said was erroneous <coughs> and that's how he comes back to prajapati seeking for the instruction <clears throat> so nay va mere this you can see how uh, every word has been subjected here to a scrutiny for clarity of understanding what is going on in indra's mind also we should understand properly because then alone his attitude towards prajapati becomes clear and then alone also his sincerity of gaining the knowledge also becomes clear and how does a misunderstanding can happen in our mind also if we take the words literally how we can also misunderstand that it also becomes clear to us and so that way uh how the disciples look upon the teachers how they question their understanding and not the understanding of teacher so all of this also becomes evident from this discussion you know? so this all comes out here <clears throat> so what shall carry this naiva medhi naiva no what you say is not right the indra question prajapati is not right so anagri tad vikadana prakaram prashna purukam prakade naiva means what your drishtant is not right So by saying naivam dushtantam vigatayati, the dushtant is torn apart by the siddhanti that this is not the right dushtant. When he says naivam, no, it's not like that. Meaning that dushtant is not right. So then, the vigatana prakaram prashna purogam prakarya. In what way is it not right? So says Kasma. So the question is asked: On what basis do you say that my understanding is not right? So I have understood, I have arrived at understanding what Indra meant based on that understanding. See, person who asks a question also goes through his own thinking process, and he think continues to think that Indra meant that Swapnatma gets killed because he. because he has no difficulty in concluding something different from what prajapati says earlier prajapati said atma is immortal and still indra said that atma is mortal chhayatma so but swapnatma also prajapati says is immortal indra can say that is also i find it mortal so why that is the then why not this drishtanta is right so why not we understand what indra means based on he is understanding the previous case you follow that's how understand that so how chhayatma becomes this so how did indra arrive at understanding the first case why not indra arrive at the similar understanding in second case also this is what the questioner says that's how i want just say evakara instead of evakara but the name now that understand cannot apply Now Indra is a different Indra from what he was at that time. So how, Kasma? How do you say that the standard is not applied? Then says Mahashikara, "Ye shah akshne purusho dushade idhi na chayatma prajapati na uktha 
इति मन्यते मघवान सो नौ इंद्र ये एशो एश अक्षिणी पुरुषो दुश्यते पुरुषा द सर्व दर सीन द आए इज आत्मा इति न छाया आत्मा प्रजा प्रयक्त मुक्त है सो इंद्र व्हेन ही डेलिबरेटेड ही अंडरस्टूड दैट प्रजापति डिड नॉट मीन दैट रिफ्लेक्शन इज आत्मा even though his words literally seem to mean that the one that is seen in the eye is atma but that could not be so because prajapati said atma is immortal and this reflection is mortal idi manyate maghavan so maghavan you know there is a word maghavan you know about indra but then the word maghavat that there is a word also maghavat that also means indra so maghavan then maghava should have been the uh, sing first case singular so maghavat then maghavan is okay so then maghavan becomes the sambodhanam for both if the word is maghavat and maghavan in both each case the sambodhan is maghavan but the prathama ekavachanam will be different maghava and maghavan so bhashya gare maghavan meaning he takes the word maghavat as a name of indra you know <coughs> Anyway, that's by the way. So, Indra Manyate, therefore, Indra now understand that Prajapati did not say Chaya is Atma. He has understood that. Because it does not, is not consistent with other characters of Atma. <coughs> All right, still, the Bhashyaka just says, now Indra did not, does not think that Prajapati meant that Chaya is the Atma. <coughs> सो ये तो देव आकांक्षा पूर्वकम प्रपंच है ते दैट प्रजापति डिड नॉट थिंक दैट नहीं इंद्रा केम टू कन अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट प्रजापति डिड नॉट मीन छाया इस आत्मा हाउ डिड ही कम टू अंडरस्टैंडिंग कथम हाउ डिड ही कम अंडरस्टैंडिंग इस प्रपंच है ते इस एक्सप्लेन या आप हाथ पाप मारे लक्षणे पृष्ठे यदि छायात्मा प्रजापति न उक्त है मनते तदा कथम प्रजापति प्रमाणीकृत पुनः श्रवणाय समित्पाणिर्गछे जगाम च तस्मात् न छायात्मा प्रजापति न उक्त है मन्यते अपहत पापमादि लक्षणे पृष्ठे बिकॉज इक इंद्र एंड विरोचना वेन टू प्रजापति सीकिंग टू नो ये आत्मा अपहत पापमा विजर है विमृत्यु दे से that we have heard these words of yours the atma is free from sin free from decapitated free from old age death etc that atma we want to know so the lakshana is what told the lakshya they want to know very what who is the atma where is he who is the atma where is that atma how do you know that atma how do we know so apa the papma the lakshana prushte indra had asked prajapati of the atma that that satisfies these qualifications or that answers these qualifications apahada papma etc indi chhayatma prajapati na uktai de manyate so it is true that in the beginning indra thought that prajapati said chhaya is the atma but on the way when he applied these attributes of apahada papmatvam with chaya atma he could see the inconsistency the chaya atma is mortal and prajapati said atma is immortal so chaya atma prajapati anukte id manyate if he still continues to think that prajapati chaya atma then he would not have come back because he would have gone away thinking that prajapati is misguided me ta kadam prajapati pramane krutya 
Punashravanaya Samit Panit Gachet. The fact the Indra returned with faggots in his hand, surrendering to Prajapati, meaning accepting Prajapati as a teacher. So when you go and before somebody with faggots in hand, meaning what? That I am accepting you as a teacher. I am I have come to you as a disciple. That's what it means. I have come to you as a disciple. Means that you are my teacher. And teacher is what? Naturally Pramanam. Because you there is a, in teachers there is an implicit trust that the teacher knows what he's talking about, and that's why I come to him. So Katam Prajapadim Pramani Kritya. So return of Indra, seeking the instruction of Atma, he is equivalent to saying that he looks upon Prajapati as Pramana, as a valid source of knowledge. So Katham Punashravanaya Samit Pranit Gachet. So this much is clear in Indra's mind that Chaya is not Atma. Then my understanding is wrong. Prajapati meant some other thing, some other Atma. And so what is that Atma? Knowing for knowing that he has come back. <coughs> Meaning that now what Indra says about Swapna Atma, for that Chaya Atma cannot be distant. Because in, in Indra's mind, Chaya is no more Atma. So then when he talks about Swapna Atma, then Chaya cannot be distant. Meaning that we cannot interpret Indra's words based on Chaya as a distant. Indra talks about the Swapna Atma independently from his own understanding of dream. And therefore, that Granti Eva cannot be if Swapna is a Chaya Atma is not understand. <coughs> chaya definitely lies. So that Evakara is okay in Chaya. But if Chaya was Drishtant, the Evakara will be okay in Swapna Atma also. But Chaya is not Drishtant. Therefore, that cannot be the reason for interpreting Evakara as in the primary sense. Since Chaya cannot be Drishtant, therefore, the Evakara, that need not, that cannot be advanced reason for interpreting Evakara in the primary sense. <coughs> advanced some other reason. And there is no reason. Therefore, Evakara is not in primary sense. It means Evakara. This is what the, the point is. <coughs> so, Katham Prajapadam Gachet Jagamache But he did go back. Tasmat Nachayatma Prajapadam Oktiri Manyade So, when Indra returns to Prajapati, Seeking the instruction, it is very clear to him that Prajapati did not say reflects his Atma. Then what is the Atma? Then Prajapati dream is the Atma. Dreamer is the Atma. So now when Indra talks about dream Atma, then Chaya Atma is no more in his mind because already dismissed. Because he knew that Prajapati did not mean Chaya. There were statement about Swapna Atma can have no relation with his Confusion about Chaya Atma. His confusion about Swapna Atma comes from a different source, but not from Chaya Atma. So, Chaya Atma is not in Drishtanta. <coughs> Tasmat na Chaya Atma prajapatyana uktedi manyade tathacha vyakhyadam drashta akshini drishyadehiti. And that's how we also explained that sentence at that time that akshini purush is drashta. If the star the Rakshina Purusha is what Prajapati means and not the is not Drashya, but Drashta is a Akshi Purusha. <coughs> so we explain in that time. Look at line twenty-five. Prajapadyana Chayatma Anuktao. Yes, Akshini Drishyade Idi Pratyakshokti Kathamedi But there is again a question. But Prajapati did say Chaya is the Atma. Prajapati did say the reflection of Atma because what is it? Esha Akshini Drishyade The one that is seen in the eyes. Idi Pratyakshokti Drishyade What is perceived? 
what is seen in the eyes is protection meaning that prajapati seems to say that what you see is atma meaning atma is what is seen atma is pratyaksha atma is seen in the eyes so what you see with your eyes in the eyes is a reflection is atma so what prajapati seem to say is atma is perceptible so prajapati's words are in, can be interpreted as akshini purusha hai purusha in the eye means prajapati means that atma is perceptible with eyes so it is protection so that's what prajapati said if prajapati did not mean the reflection and the atma why did prajapati say this if prajapati did not mean reflection of the atma then why how do you understand prajapati's words because words of prajapati simply interpreted means that what is seen in the eye the reflection is atma if prajapati did not mean reflection and atma why did he say this what should i understand in in what he said so the tika gar tatha api chayati it should be tatha chayati so tatha is ninth line of bhashya tatha ch vyakhyatam drashta akshini drushyate it is so we already explain what the meaning of words of prajapati should be so tatha pratikshapatti tatha vyakhyatam chi then we have so all of you say that prajapati even though his words means atma is drushya what he really meant was atma is drashta so that's we already already explained there <clears throat> now this tika kara is another uh, objection in the line 26 nanu yatha prasam pariyaye chhayatman anya prajapadan uktah tase vindrana api अमृतभवेवादिवचना निश्चित प्रथम स्वगृहते छात्म विनाशित न प्रजापते मृषावादि ओके यथम पर्याय इन द फर्स्ट केस छात्म अन् प्रजापति नक्त सो इवन दु इंद्र अंडरस्टूड दैट द रिफ्लेक्शन इज आत्मा प्रजापति सैड यदि समन अदन रिफ्लेक्शन इज आत्मा तथैव इंद्रेणा अपि अमृतत्व भयत्वादि वचना निश्चितम एन इंद्र आल्सो अंडरस्टूड दैट आर बिकॉज इज आत्मा इज अमृतम अभयम देयरफॉर छाया इज नॉट द आत्मा मेड बाय प्रजापति सो दैट्स व्हाट इंद्र आल्सो कंक्लूडेड दैट प्रजापति डिड नॉट मीन छाया इज द आत्मा यदि But what happened is प्रथम स्वगृहित छायात्मने विनाशित उक्त न प्रजापते मृषावादि दर्भर प्रथम स्वगृहित छायात्मने दर्भर इवन दो फर्स्ट इंद्र थॉट छाय द आत्मा एंड थॉट दट आत्मा इज विनाशी बिकॉज सो अनु अनु नश्यति इट डाइज अलॉन्ग अलॉन्ग यू नो इन अकॉर्डिंग विद द डेथ ऑफ द बॉडी एंड स्टिल सो Even then, he realized that my understanding is wrong. Therefore, na prajapate he so mushadvaditva. So Inda said that the prajapati is right. Prajapati is not wrong. My understanding is wrong. All right. So that is what happened to Indra. Meaning, Indra understood something different. What prajapati said in the first case, whereas prajapati said drishta is atma. Indra understood drishya is atma and realized that my understanding is not right because drishya does not satisfy the criteria of immortality and therefore my understanding is wrong. So prajapati is okay. So what is meant is that even though Indra understood differently and still claimed to understand that prajapati is right, this time also Indra could understood something else. Even though Prajapati said Swapna Atma, Dreamer is Atma, but Indra understood some other Atma and said Vade Nasya Hanya Te. You know, so Indra says the word Eva Kara not for Swapna Atma, but for Atma that he understands. You know, in the first case, just say Indra understood that Atma is subject to distraction. Even though Prajapati did not mean, and then realized that my understanding is wrong. So this time also. 
Indra may have taken some other entity as what Praja, Prajapati means Swapnatma. But Indra thinks he means something else. And then Atma Vadena Sanyate. So when Indra says, so Granti Eva, he is killed. He is not Swapnatma, he is killed, but Atma, the Indra thinks, is killed. You know, why can it not be this time? You follow what I am saying? So, Indra is understood differently. In this case also, even though Prajapati meant the dreamer as Atma, Indra is understood some other Atma. And about him is thinking. So, Indra and Prajapati meant Drashta is the Atma. Indra thought Drashta is Atma. And then Drashta is subject to death, etc. Similarly also, now Prajapati is a dreamer is Atma. But Indra understands some other entity is Atma. And then he may think that that Atma is subject to destruction. Why not? So that's what this Tika Karas. Even, Ihabi Swapnudhurshad Anyasyeva Mahimanatvena Gruhite. Here also, Swapnudhurshad Anyasyeva. So even though Prajapati said, the dreamer is Atma, Indra thinks that he means somebody else. Anyasyeva Mahima Gruhite, Swapna Purushe, Hanna Bhidanasya, Mukhyatvebi, Na Prajapate, Mrshavaditvamiri. So he is accusing. Earlier he said, Prajapati says, Sacha is Atma and that Atma is subject to death. Similarly also he thinks that this such and such is Atma and then the Atma is subject to death and dream also. So, Swapna Purushe, Hanan Abhidhanasya, Mukhyatvebi. So, when Indra says that, Granti Eva, the dream self gets, he dies indeed, it is not the dream self that Prajapati has said, dream self Indra has understood. So, Indra is saying the dream self also dies. Why do you say the immortal? But not the dream self that Prajapati has said, dream self that Indra has understood. Why, why, why can it not be? That just as in the earlier case, Indra understood something else as the Atma, here also Indra can understand some other entity as Atma, then what Prajapati says, and says, that one dies, then he's not falsifying Prajapati, in a way. Na Prajapati Mrshavaditvam. Meaning Indra can say this without uh, accusing Prajapati as Mrshavadi. Because Indra has some other Atma in his mind, which is who is subject to death, and so by that is not contradicting Prajapati. <coughs> Says na iha anyasya prajapati na anabhidhanat. But no, that cannot, that thinking cannot be in this case because Indra knows that Prajapati is not talked about another Atma other than Swapna. Why? Etam Tvevatayati Svapna Drashtu Eva Sushupta Anukarshanad. So not Evam Tveva, but Etam Tveva Eti. So Prajapati said, you know, Etam Tveva De Bhuya Anuyakya Syami. I will not tell you about the same entity, same Atma that I said earlier. Iti Svapna Drashtu Eva Sushupta Anukarshanad. And therefore, so later on also Prajapati will say that this is the Atma I am going to talk about. So the waker Atma is talked about in dream, and the dreamer Atma will be talked about in sleep. So this Etam to goes to other word. It goes to the 11th mantra, 11th passage, where Prajapati will say about the deep sleep that I am going to talk about the same Atma. Idi Svapnashtaya Sushupta Anukarshanat so Prajapati means that Swapna is the same. I am now going to talk about the same Atma in a different way. So Vekar Atma was talked about as dreamer. And dream Atma is going to be talked about as a sleeper. So Prajapati already said that I am going to talk about the same Atma. So Prajapati is very clear. The Atma is not mortal. <coughs> Indra Sabi Pura Vakyena Etam Tvayata Edi Swapna Shtu Jagra Svabhedam Shutavataha and really also Prajapati said that talking about the Svatna, I'm going to talk about the same Atma. So Prajapati meant that Atma I'm now going to talk about as a dreamer, the same as the Atma in the waker. So the continuity Prajapati says Atma is the same. 
Meaning that Prajapati could not have said that Atma is subject to death. <coughs> Which Indra has understood. Indra has understood that Prajapati has told the same Atma they told earlier. And therefore, that Atma, Prajapati cannot have meant the Atma is mortal. So now Praja Indra cannot think of some other Atma. Now Indra is clear that Prajapati is talking about the same Atma. And so Indra has understood Swapna Atma is Swapna Atma. But he takes it literally. Prajapati means that the, the content of Swapna Atma is Atma. Swapna also is a Vesha. And the one who is in the Vesha is Atma. But Indra thinks that Swapna with Vesha he takes it with Atma. That's what the problem is. So, in fact, uh, Prajapati expected Indra to understand that in Swapna also, Atma and Atma Viveka is there and he expected that Indra would understand that Atma is different from subtle body etc. which Indra has not understood. So Indra took Swapna Atma is literally and there were, but not different from what Prajapati says. He did not understand quite what Prajapati said, but then he understood Swapna Atma alone and there were <coughs> Anyokti Nishya Anupate Indra could not have thought that in Prajapati means different from Swapna Atma. He knows he Prajapati talks Swapna Atma except that he has understood it differently. Prajapati means Swapna Drashta is Atma and here Indra thinks that the, the, the experiencer of dream is Atma. Tasya Jagra Drashtu Avedat because that Atma alone will be same as the Jagra Atma. Which Atma? The Turiya. So Prajapati means Turiya in, in Jagrat. Prajapati means Turiya in Swapna also. Whereas Indra thinks the Taijasa is Atma. So earlier Prajapati said Turiya is Atma. Indra thought Vishwa is Atma. Now Prajapati says Turiya is Atma. Indra thinks the Taijasa is Atma. Then Prajapati says Turiya is Atma. He thinks Pragna is Atma. You see? So each time he is a little better than before. In the fourth time you understand that neither Vishwa nor Tejasa nor Pragna. But the Adhishthanam Ture is Atma. So it took him four instructions. This is how it proceeds here. Okay. <coughs> Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyade Purnasya Purnamanda Yapurnameva Vashishyade Om Shanti 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 Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Badarayanam Sutra Bhashya Krutau Vande Bhagavantau Punaf Punah Guru Ratmeti Murti Veda Vibhagine Vyoma Vadvyapta Dehaya Dakshina Murtaye Namaha Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Namaha Hari Om